Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever day of the time it is right now, then I am just saying hello to you. So today I'm going to be reading this book to you called The Roots of Rap. It is by Carol Boston Weatherford. It is a children's book. But the reason why I chose to do this book today is because today or this whole week, we celebrate Dr. Seuss and we celebrate, you know, what he has brought to literature, not only for children, but for adults as well. So because I am working with an older set of children, I know sometimes the Dr. Seuss books they feel like are a little elementary for them. So I chose to do this book called The Roots of Rap um, because um, our youth is into hip hop and they're into rap. But the direct connection that it has to Dr. Seuss is that Dr. Seuss uses lots of rhyming words. Um, we find rhyming, rhyming words in poetry. And when we look at poetry and rhyming words, then we find that exactly in hip hop and rap. So Sit back, relax. You're going to hear me do a spill um, in just a few seconds about this book as I read it to a class, but I'm so excited to be with you today. Happy reading. I am one of the English and reading program specialists. My name is Dr. Jacqueline Walker, and I want to say happy Dr. Seuss Day to you all. So today, as we all know that Dr. Seuss his books are usually about rhyme and they have a rhythm to them and the words are always rhyming like he has the cat in the hat so we know that cat and hat of course rhymes because you guys are in the sixth grade um with dr crawford so today um i want to bring into you some hip-hop because dr seuss books are really hip-hop on an elementary level so the book that i'm going to read to you today is called the roots of rap and it's 16 bars so i'm gonna hit bars for you and it is by carol boston weatherford and the art is by frank morrison and then it has a forward by swiss beats so i know i'm not there but um you can discuss who is swiss beats and if you don't know who swiss beats is he makes a lot of music he's really responsible for the verses so you know the verses that they have on instagram with the various people where they have this group against that group or this person against that person, he's responsible for that, him and Dr. Dre. But he also is married to Alicia Keys, if you're not familiar with who Swiss Beats is. So let's see what's up. And let's see if I can get some bars for y'all today. So it has the roots of rap, 16 bars on four pillars of hip hop. So Swiss Beats, that's him right there. You can see that is him right there. He puts a forward in and it says, Dear readers, I first encountered hip hop when I was growing up in the Bronx and the Bronx is in New York. This particular style of music gave me energy and freedom and it helped me focus on what I wanted to do with my life. I started DJing as a teenager and thanks to support from my family and friends, my career in music took off soon thereafter. Hip hop and rap are often featured in children's books. So this offering from Carol Boston Weatherford and Frank Morrison is truly special. It provides a wonderful introduction to both the sounds and the artists who paved the way in this genre. What's genre mean? I know you know in English what that word genre means many of whom were and continue to be role models to me. My hope is that you'll be encouraged to learn more about rap and its roots, along with all the artists who have shaped and continue to make this genre what it is today. That's Swiss Beats. He's a rapper, a DJ, and a record producer. So let's see. So it says, Folk tales, street rhymes, spirituals rooted in spoken word. Props to poets, Hughes and Dunbar published. Ain't you heard? So as you can see up here, that is Dunbar and Langston Hughes. And that's a little boy listening to the spoken word. Because like I said, rap is about rhyme. So man, James Brown shouting, I'm black and I'm proud. Giving birth to funk, 
baseline posting loud. So that's James Brown. The origins go way back beyond old school. But it's in the 70s that rappers start to rule. So what we're hearing that rap started in the 70s. Crews with cans of paint spray, tags on subway trains, writings from every borough to take risks to make a name. So you can see they tag in doing graffiti. Graffiti is thrown on buildings bridges and billboard signs all along the Manhattan, Queens, Bronx, and Brooklyn line. So as you know, all of those places are in New York. A boombox token homie blasts a hot track on a corner, passes by four deeps around the street performer. So as you can see, that's him with the boombox and they're doing a street performance. With sheets of cardboard for a stage, B-boys bust out moves. What do you think a B-boy is? We'll think about it at the end and I'll kind of tell you, but they're doing moves. Um, I'm gonna give you a hint and something to do with some type of dance that begins with a B. Donkey spider robot, win me a rock lock spin to break down grooves. So, they're a dancer. Jamaican DJs toast and vent what's now called dub, remix with twin turntables at soul and reggae clubs. So that's the DJ playing the rap music. DJ Cool Herc in the Bronx, block party under his command. Rocks and rocks nonstop, mic clutched in his hand. So he's DJing and then he has a mic in his hand because when we DJ, they are the ones to get the party started. Dropping, scratching, beat juggling, matching, wax on wheels of steel, wordplay, rhyming, triple timing, keeping the lyrics real. So they're almost doing like a cipher when you keep your lyrics real. Sugar Hill Gang, Run DMC, LL Cool J, Curtis Blow, Biggie and the Fat Boys jamming at the radio. So they're like some of the hottest rappers that first started out in the 80s um, and continuing on to the 90s with rap and hip hop. Nas, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Eminem, 50 Cent, and Tupac 2, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, the message ringing true. So now we're going, those first rappers I talked about before, they were East Coast rappers. Now we're bringing in West Coast rappers. Female MCs break it down, salt and pepper and TLC. Queen Latifah sports a crown, reigning like royalty. So now we talk about female MCs. All around her kingdom, shorties raised on rap, Boogie to fat beats and backward baseball hats. So that's Queen Latifah. A generation voice and stories, hopes and fears. Sounds of hip hop nation say holla if you hear. So now it's showing like how a lot of young people are embracing hip hop culture. From Atlanta to Zanzibar. You spit freestyle freedom sounds. Hip hop is a language that is spoken the whole world around. Hip hop is like all around the world. And that is the end. We do have some things that I want to talk about quickly. B-Boy, it is about break dancer. And then we have Boogie is to dance, beats is the rhythm for a rap song. You know, you got Beats by Dre with your ear um, phone. And it's just a lot of different information here that talks about what hip hop is about. And then it shows you different rappers, Biggie Smalls, Curtis Blow, James Brown, Dr. Dre, Eminem, 50 Cent, The Fat Boys, Grandmaster Flash, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, who Langston Hughes, they're both poets, LL Cool J Nas, 
So what I want you to do, this is the back, is that I want you all to write, write your own rap for me. And when you're done writing your rap, I want to judge it to see who had the best rap and I have prizes. So you all enjoyed Dr. Seuss Day, but on Dr. Seuss Day, we talked about the roots of rap and hip hop. See you guys later. I really hope you enjoyed that book because I absolutely loved it. I love the four from Swiss Beats and I loved all the hip hop references all the way from the poetry, um, for the poets from Langston Hughes, all the way down to um, James Brown, to his um, part of rap, all the way down to our East Coast rappers, our West Coast rappers, our female MCs, just really bringing it all together to kind of celebrate hip hop as it relates to Dr. Seuss. So I am Dr. Jacqueline Walker, and I am coming to you today from my company called Glamour Prestige. We specialize in educational tutoring, tutoring and training and have a great day.